I don't have a father. Growing up at home with only my mother, I don't really have a father. My mom raised me since I was two. And when you grow up as a child, you don't really think about the things that you're missing or the people that you could have in your life until you hit that certain age. And you look over that bridge and you think, maybe the grass could have been greener on the other side. I have a friend, his name is also Andrew, and we both studied together in the same class. He had a father. And I remember one day he was telling me about his plans for his future. Business endeavor that he wanted to complete with his friend and the confidence, the, the gusto, the almost pettiness of his description on illustration of his plans and his future almost astounded me because I knew that for me to have something of that attitude inside of me would have taken so much more effort so much more pain, research, development. I'd have to be some sort of 50-year-old scientist to get that kind of confidence in something that seemed like a scribble at the back of a piece of paper for him. Yeah. But even though I don't have a father, I have many fathers. My mother heard along the way that fathers were important, and they are. And she prayed for fathers to come into my life. And I know God answered because I found them everywhere. At work, in my church. Pastor Steve is my father, as he is to many of us. Different men, different styles, with different lessons. I am who I am today because of what they taught me and who they were. I am who I am because they are who they are. And I thank God for that. Psalm 68 says that God puts the solitary in families and so to everyone out there today tonight let's remember and recognize all the men in our lives that have been our fathers people that we've met along the way that God's brought through our path and let's also remember God our Heavenly Father because he's actually the one that all these other men personify a provider, protector, our salvation, our great hero. And if you haven't made God your Heavenly Father today, I invite you to ask Him to be your dad. And I guarantee He's the greatest dad I've had yet and will ever have. Happy Father's Day. Thanks, dads.